don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my crypto. What is going on, YouTube? This is the Big K Cops 360 here. We've had a lot of talk on Intel's upcoming Broadwell Dash E generation of Extreme Edition Intel CPUs. Now, of course, what's the news you might ask? Well, apparently, the flagship 6950X is going to be supporting 10 cores. Repeat, 10 cores and 20 threads that is absolutely insane and it is rumored to stay at the price of 1000 us dollars which in itself is it's great i mean if you're an enthusiast you want the best performance you, you know you want to go balls to the walls without you know getting towards you know the xeons and whatnot you know the server cpus and this is great um but continuing on we've also got the 6900k it's kind of like the 5930k equivalent it's in that kind of sweet spot where you're not spending you know one thousand dollars on the cpu but you're still getting or in this case eight cores and 16 threads which is absolutely insane as i said uh how much will it cost of course um uh, price points aren't confirmed at the moment i mean these broadwall e cpus might not even launch for a while but um, just to think of it, 8 core, 16 threads in that 5930k area, that 5930k price point, it's some really good stuff. I mean, Intel has been increasing the core count for the Extreme Edition CPUs pretty much every single time for the past, I think, one or two generations, which is very, very good. I mean, it's pleasing to the consumer, and of course, it's pleasing to the enthusiast. Continuing on, we'll also have the i7-6850K and the i7-6800K, you know, the other X99-based CPUs, kind of like the 5820K, um, you know, that it's it's like not too powerful, but it's it's good enough, you know what I mean? It's to get you onto the X99 platform. Of course, those two CPUs will have six cores and 12 threads. And of course, guys, note the date because it's the 16th of November. These specifications are not confirmed so i may be wrong i'm just reporting on rumors that's just my job so as i was saying um these cpus will be based on the x99 chipset the x99 platform which means they will be compatible with lga 2011-3 or dash v3 whatever it is uh motherboards of course you're going to need a motherboard update um a bios update and whatnot but if that's the case then that should be epic that's going to be really good for the consumer for the enthusiast because they don't need to buy a new motherboard and all this other bullshit just to support their new thousand dollar cpu for example so pretty much guys that was pretty much it of course these will support ddr4 i'm not going to get into specifics such as cash like l1 l2 l3 cash because of course uh these specifications are not confirmed so i don't want to go out and say shit and it might not actually be true in the end but i'm just letting you guys know that there's a very strong possibility that we will be seeing a 10 core Intel CPU on the 2011-3 platform. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and the big K will see you later.